Hey guys, Sark here from Sarky Ticket. In today's video, I want to talk about one of the best features of the Samsung Galaxy S21 series that you probably are not using, especially if you're new to the scene. This feature is designed to hide sensitive data from prying eyes, and it is known as the Secure Folder. Now, Secure Folder allows you to hide and lock your private content, such as your photos, videos, important data files, messages, and much more under a total lockdown so nobody can access your private business. Now this video is for new S21 owners and this feature is not exclusive to the S21. Other Samsung phones can do it also. Anyway, let's dive in and discover how this powerful feature works. Let me first show you how to activate the secure folder and then we will look at the fine details. All right, so the very first step that you wanna take is to actually set up the secure folder. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your settings and then you wanna scroll down and go into your biometrics and security. Once you're in the biometrics and security, you wanna scroll down and you will see the secure folder right here. It says, keep your personal files and applications safe and secure. Now, when you click this for the very first time, you are gonna see an introductory screen that might take a couple minutes to set the whole thing up, but you will be dumped into this screen right here. So the very first thing that you want to do is you wanna pick a pin number for the secure folder. Now remember, this pin number is going to be unique to the secure folder. It has nothing to do with your usual pin number for your lock screen. You can also add your fingerprints as a form of authentication, which I recommend you do. So enable that and also enable this feature so if you ever get locked out of the secure folder, you can reset it with your Samsung account. So once you have this configured, tap on next, okay? And then put a pin number in here. Just for the sake of ease, I'm gonna pick 1111, okay, for this video. But of course you wanna pick something much more secure than that. Now you can exit this and what's gonna happen is when you go into your apps, okay? and you search for the secure folder, it is going to be sitting right here. It is now activated. Now let me show you how to use it. Now the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna launch this guy. When you launch it, it goes directly into the secure folder. But as you can see, it did not ask me for a pin number or a passcode or my fingerprints. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that actually happens. So you wanna tap on this, you wanna go into the settings, and then when you go over here, go into auto lock secure folder, you tap on it and make sure it says each time I leave the application, lock the secure folder. Now let's go back out. I'm going to exit everything. I'm going to go back into my secure folder. Now I'm going to click on it and you'll notice it is going to ask me to put in a pin. So let me just put the pin number I picked up. Okay. And then by the way, if you exit again, and you try to go back in, now you're gonna have the option to also use your fingerprints because that's the option I enabled or you can just tap on use pin. So now the secure folder is actually secure. Let me show you how to actually start using it. Now when I launch my gallery, there's nothing in the gallery here. But interestingly enough, when I go outside of the secure folder and launch my regular gallery, it's gonna have all these photos that I've taken with my camera, the albums I created. So all these photos are here in the public gallery, but when I go into my secure folder gallery, right here, oops, secure folder gallery, it's not gonna be there, okay? Because this is a different environment. This is a secure environment. So when I click on gallery, there's nothing here. So how do I put pictures in the gallery here that I wanna hide? So what you do is you go in, into your public gallery, you pick any photo that you wanna actually hide, you tap on the button on the side over here, and you say move to secure folder. Now the only reason you're seeing this option here is because we have enabled secure folder. If you have not enabled it, you're not gonna see that option. So when I tap on this one, it's gonna ask me to put my fingerprints or use my pin number for the secure folder, okay? And once you do that, it takes this photo and it moves it to my secure folder. Now that photo is hidden in here, okay? In fact, let me do a couple more at the same time. You can do multiple of them at the same time. Tap on this one, move to secure folder, tap on this. Look at what happens. These photos are gonna disappear, they're hidden, okay? 
Now, anybody that comes into my public gallery is not able to see those photos because they are hidden. Now, what if you want to access them? You go into your secure folder, okay? You click on it. Only you can access it because nobody else has a password. Then you go into your gallery, and here's the photos that I hid in my gallery. Fantastic. Another quick thing, if you want to unhide a photo, you can move photos from your secure area to public. So let's say this photo, I want to put it back into public. I simply select the photos I want to uh, move back to public, tap on this button and say move out of secure folder. So as you can see, that is fantastic. You can move it back and forth. So now when I go back into my secure folder, again, let me just, you know what, let me just grab this locate the application and I'm going to put it on the desktop okay just so it's easier to access now when I go inside I only have the photos I want to hide in my gallery so the same thing applies to calendar entries contacts camera internet my files Samsung notes so you can have secure notes and let me show you something very interesting so when you are in the secure folder if you launch your Samsung notes and if you actually save a note, it is going to be secure by default. So let me just tap, tap, tap next. Click on plus. Let me just say individual pages. So let me just say secure file. Okay, secure. That's enough actually. Just test. And I'm going to go back over here. Now that file is saved. But remember, I launched the application from my secure folder so when I access, I can only access that file from the secure folder Samsung Notes application. If I go outside, if I go to my Samsung Notes, the regular Samsung Notes, you're not going to see that file here. These are just my public uh, doodles over here. You're not going to see what I did in the secure folder out in the public area. So that's the power of the secure folder. Now, you can do the same thing with any document. So people have a lot of documents that they want to secure, they want to hide, okay? You can do it with videos, PDF files, Word documents, whatever. So let's say you have some files you want to move into the secure folder. What you do is you go into your My Files application from the public area, okay? And then you select the photos. Let's select this video right here and this video. You tap on it and you say Move to Secure Folder. Now I took that video and I moved it over to uh, my hidden content. So when I go back inside here, go inside, and if I go to my files, all the files that I have here that are actually hidden are going to show up right here. That's the full list of all the hidden files under the secure folder, and I'm sure you guys at this point can see how powerful this thing is. Now let me give you a couple of additional tips. One thing that's very cool actually is, let me just exit out, go back in here, put my fingerprint, let me launch my camera and I take a photo. Now remember, I launched the camera from the secure folder. I just took a photo. When I go into my gallery, that photo, because I used my secure folder camera, it automatically gets saved into my secure folder gallery. So it already is hidden. Nobody can see it. If I launch my regular gallery, it's not going to be here. That is just brilliant, okay? So let me go back in here. I'm going to show you something really cool with the secure folder. So how to make the secure folder even more secure by making it obscure. So you tap on this button here. You go to your settings. And what you can do is you can actually change the look and feel of the secure folder. Actually, not here. Go back here. Tap this and simply say customize. So what I can do is I can pick a different photo. You know, it doesn't look very threatening. It doesn't look like it's a big deal. Just a puppy or I can just uh, pick a piggy bank, and I can just say finance, okay? Then I click apply. Now when I go out, it's just gonna look like a finance folder. So when somebody clicks on this, they'll not even suspect that you're hiding something because uh, it's a finance folder. Of course, it's gonna be locked, okay? Nobody keeps their finance folders uh, open. So nobody's gonna suspect that you're hiding something here. They're just gonna ignore it and move on, okay? So that's just one trick to make it even more secure by obscurity. Other things you can do, tap on this one, you can tap on add files, and you can pick images, videos, audio, documents, my files, and move them here from this application. So we have all these tools we can use 
to make moving stuff from public to hidden easily. One more thing, if I tap on the settings right over here and go into the settings, I can always go into my lock type and change everything. So remember, this pin number is unique for secure folder. You can make modifications here if you want to do so after the fact. You can enable or disable the secure folder in the app screen. So if I do this, now that finance folder or the secure folder just disappears. So how do you access it? Nobody even knows it's there. You go to settings, you go into the biometrics and security, and then you tap on secure folder, and then it's gonna pop up that way. So I prefer to have it just like this and just rename it, so make it obscure. You can also go to manage accounts, and you can sync and back up your secure folder to your Samsung account. And once uh, you change your phone in the future, you can always restore your secure folder from your cloud backup on Samsung. And of course, it is fully encrypted and safe. You also have more options. You can see more settings. Uh, if you don't want this secure folder anymore, you can uninstall it. So if you tap on this one, it goes, it just resets the whole thing. Everything gets deleted. No more secure folder. You have to reset it up as I showed you in the beginning. And you have a bunch of other little settings. You can play with all those. I just want to give you guys an overview of what this feature is all about and how powerful it is in fact. Now remember, if I go back out, I can also add additional um, applications into the secure folder. So I can create uh, hidden copies of actual applications. If I click on plus, okay, I can pick I can create a hidden version of the Best Buy application into my secure folder and whatever I do with that application inside here is gonna remain in here. It's not gonna reflect in the public folder. So remember that, that's a powerful option. I'm sure you guys can think a lot of uses for it if you wanna secure your items, okay? So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.